The first set will be played on Core Hall, Floating Island. Spawning in the bottom right hand position as the KT Rollster player. I'm keeping an eye. Okay, he is making workers. Just wanted to check that real quickly. Anyway, his name is Hitman. His opponent is the WCS Grand Finals champion. His name is Innovation, spawning as Red Terran on the left top corner of the map. Yeah. And yeah. this is actually much better for Hitman because if he decides to go for some type of ball in, this is going to work out better because there's two entrances into the main base. Yeah, that's true. Uh, something to point out, Innovation, the, the last game he lost was against Shine on, I believe it was New Fighting Spirit. He went for a double proxy Rax, Shine went for the 6 pool. Mm -hmm. So we do have the first drone already moving out. Pretty fast drone scout here. And, uh, hmm. Oh. Okay, never mind. He's what do you think he could do with this drone over here? I mean, is I he going to try to harass around early in the game, trying to deny the 15th command center from his opponent? Possibly. And if not, he can still send this drone over to confirm that his opponent isn't going for a two racks or isn't doing anything to, uh, I guess, greedy or weird. But he will be able to get a good scout on his opponent. He's going to probably check for gas first as well. And, uh, yeah, just going to scout around. We could see... Um, Maybe a three hatch before pool, but unlikely since he's going for the, uh, the barracks first. But yeah, I was thinking maybe this was Hitman's mindset. He scouts if he sees the command center first, harass it a little bit, and go for the three hatch before pool. If not, just play safe. Don't worry. It was just one drone scouting for a little bit, and it will return home. Yeah, he went for the scouting, and now he's returning. I guess he just wanted to, like you said, I guess he just wanted to see. Um, the gas timing from his opponent. He did double check what his opponent was going for, so now he can play it safe. He can play the game that he wants to. That's the reason why he went for the 15 hatch behind it. Because remember, last game, Innovation, he did go for proxy two racks in the middle of the map. And on this map, Innovation can go for it also. He could have gone for it also. Mm -hmm. Alright, command center being uh, constructed by Innovation. No gas yet, but he will take that momentarily. And then Marine on the way as well. So, predictions for compositions. Well, I'm not so sure right now. Hitman, he could go for early pressure, but he's a player who could also play a macro game and win against Terran players. Maybe not against someone like Innovation, who is so fantastic, and Innovation is prone to losing to so many cheeses from Zerg players, but Hitman, he is 5-1 and one in this matchup in Pro League. Yeah. This, that pretty much shows that even if his opponent is Innovation, Hitman still has a chance to win this game. Uh, also, Hitman is always sent out on Core Hall Floating Island. Yes. This is basically his map. And uh, Innovation's SCV going to scout his opponent's natural. Sees the Overlord as well. The Marine will not be able to pick that off, though. That's uh, a pretty safe place for him. And also, it looks really cool as a kind of side effect. The Zerglings are out, just going to scare away the SCV as Innovation finishes his command center inside the natural. Alright, well... We'll probably be seeing the reactor. Ooh, sandwich! Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Double dies. But the Zerglings are gonna come over here and they will be able to pick off that Marine at least. So, not really much of a revenge there, but kind of doing the best he can. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of gas being uh, made here from Hitman. I thought you were gonna say something, so I was saying quiet. Oh. My bad. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. So, Innovation did trade away one Marine for the Overlord. Really nice play over there as, you know, trading away an Overlord. A little bit annoying for the Zerg player. Good news, Hitman was not supply block during that time. All, all good in the hood for Hitman. He wasn't phased by losing an Overlord. An Overlord homie. An over homie. <laughs> and uh, we do have both players trying to destroy the destructible rocks. They want to just play ultra defensive, at least until the mid game stage. Lair on the way now for Hitman. Six and minutes into the game, getting four gas. Ooh, I think we're going to see some aggressive play from Hitman when it I comes like to this, mid game. I like this decision from Hitman because he knows that innovation, if he drags the game into the late game, he's going to wreck his opponent. Now, don't be surprised. You know what that building is. This is <laughs> TBC. You know which units are going to come out. I, I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be a hell of a drops. Especially on this position for a Terran player, 
Why not? The air distance is so close. I cannot state that so much. In they're, the they're just they're asking for it, man. If yes. you get these positions in Zerg player, they're asking to get... Well, I mean, actually, any, any race is asking to get Hellbat dropped on this map. Uh, we do have two Hellions moving uh, across here. They're going to try to get into the main base now. They may be able to actually sneak by these queens here. Nope. I like the preemptive sport crawler over there because he mm. knows what innovation is going to go for it, given these positioning. Infestation pits. Mm. Ah, very interesting. So, Hitman's are definitely, he's got a specific strategy in mind here against innovation. Now, what's more interesting is that we don't see double evolution chamber behind this. Usually, if they try to go for early uh, infestation pit, they take a third base, they go for the link upgrades, and they transition into ultras. But given the really fast infestation pit, I don't see him going for fast time behind this. Instead, we might even see Swarmos. Swarmos is our possibility. And a uh, nice uh, block here. The Queen's not going to allow the Hellions in. Swarmos, Nidus. Now, here is the biggest problem. Can Hitman can actually defend against the Hellbats? Well, he doesn't have a lot of units. That's kind of a, the, the issue here, really, I feel. Uh, yeah. And, oh, is he going to spot? Yes, he will spot the Hellbat drops. He's got uh, not much defense. At, okay, he's got a Spine Crawler and a Spore. The problem is this is double Metabacks instead of just one Metabac over here, but he does have a lot of Queens over here defending. Yeah. What's also great is that the Metabacks did not get a scout inside the main base. Innovation really needs to scout what's happening inside the main base to see where the infestation pit is, where the Nidus Swarm is. Oh, the Nidus Swarm almost complete now. Uh, also, let's not forget we have five Swarm hosts on the way. There's a lot of Queens in the mix as well. Innovation, he doesn't have a lot of units. He's focusing on his upgrades and building some Hellbats here. Here come the Swarm hosts and the Queens. Will this attack work though? Well, here's the thing. There's a lot of swarmers, but the wall is down over there, so he needs to start eating away on the wall. And with that, Innovation exactly knows what's happening behind this. He's building bunkers behind this. It's really crucial for him to get a siege tank out, especially in this position. Well, hey, here come the Hellbats, and oh no! Our Zerg player reacting a little bit slow to that. They're focus firing down. Uh, I believe they did get one of the swarm hosts now going after the Queens and the Hellbats. The splash damage is completely obliterating all of these units over here. And, well, the scan is over, which means that the Swarmos is still alive over here. There's still five more Swarmos, and Hellbats are going to go down no matter what. But remember, this time around, there's not going to be any Queens along with the Swarmos. Well, something to point out, Hellbats are pretty good against Swarm Hosts. They uh, are. Today I learned. Well, it's also because the Queens and the Swarm Hosts are clumped up. Yeah. And what Innovation can do right now is just wait for the Seasons to come out while going for a counter drop because there's not gonna, there's going to be no unit inside the main base, but the Natural has been busted. Well, the Natural is busted. There's still a lot of Swarm Hosts out. Three more in production, additional Queens on the way. The double drop here, it's looking to do a critical amounts of damage to the Hitman, but remember, the Locusts, they're free, repairing costs a lot of money over a long period of time. What? Here comes a drop, and there's not a lot of units, uh, excuse me, there's no units yes. here for Hitman to defend. That's what I'm saying, to... this is a little problem for Hit Hitman over here, as he does have a Swarm host defending over here, he will eventually defend against the Metabot drop, but how long is it going to take? Uh, well, so both players are just trying to deal uh, critical amounts of damage to each other. This drop going to get fended off. The oh, Queen's one Medivac gets taken up. out. Medivac one goes down. Will we see a second fall as well? Uh, it looks like one of these Queens are going to eventually fall as well. Another drop moving out here. Innovation is actually uh, looking weak right now because he's nervous right now. He saw this one once. He didn't see, expect this play from Hitman, and Hitman pretty much hit Hitting where it hurts right now. Innovation is actually going around saying, Whoa, what am I supposed to do in this situation? Yes, I can defeat Double over prime there. attack. Innovation attacking from oh, both ends. Oh, that's a lot of Marines over there. He's focus firing down a lot of the units here. These Swarmos are getting completely obliterated here. Innovation, it looks like he is going to be able to easily defend against this attack. And with that, the, in a, the economy for Hitman. GG. GG. A nice attempt for a cool and unique strategy from Hitman. But Innovation's just too damn good. You know, if Innovation, uh, excuse me, Hitman saved some of the Queens earlier in the game, he could have used Transfuse at the last second to save a lot of Swarmos, wait for the Locust to pop up, and then defend against Innovation's one strong sandwich. I don't think that Hitman was entirely ready for the Hellbats yes. to drop on his units there. He's probably taken by surprise. Uh, still, it was a really cool build from Hitman. Uh, too bad it didn't work, but against a player like Innovation, I mean, it's kind of hard to make anything work. So now the score is 1-0 to zero with STX Soul in the lead over KT Rolster. The next match is going to be Flash versus Deer.